for new for 2018, this is the Macor 45, 45 liter internal frame backpack. Um, right here on the, the start, we're gonna see your adjustable five position shoulder harness with very, very stiff padded and great for weight control and retention. So you're gonna have that ideal 80% on your hips, 20% on your shoulders. Um, we really did test it to a weight beyond what it could take. Okay. Um, we're not gonna say what you, what, <laughs> that crazy <laughs> weight, but right. the target weight's about 38 pounds. It's six pounds empty. So okay. 38 pounds for a 45 liter pack, actually pretty good. Um, usually you get a little bit less than that. All right. Uh, another key to that would be the internal frame. So I'm gonna actually pop that for you. So you have hydration compatible right there. And in the frame pocket, you'll notice something right away. This is 500 in your Cordura nylon. So the Cordura was necessary just because even though this ripstop would work just fine and the frame doesn't have any sharp corners, it is possible over time. I have another bag that basically wore a hole right there and right there. So on the top and the bottom of the frame pocket, we have that. So under here, you can see this is a polycarbonate frame. It's a little difficult to take out right now. But kind of similar to what we saw on the Ibex over there. Yes, exactly, okay. pretty much. 2.5 millimeter and rigidly supported. So since we're already on the inside of the bag, you kind of notice something. There's a strap right here that limits the travel of the backpack, of the zippers, taking you right to the first zippered pocket. So this is our tough mesh zippered pocket. It's just ergonomically makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, secondary on this panel here, as I zip that up. If we move down here, we can see a zipper, and this is for your external pocket pass-through. And what you do is, if you have to get to your rain fly on the top of your pack, unzip this guy, pass right through. Okay. Additionally, from top to bottom, internal is 26 inches. If you're gonna run an SBR and you have a muzzle device, this will give you an extra two and a half inches. The depth oh, in here, cool. yeah. you can kind of see the depth of this pocket is an extra like two and a half right okay, around there. Okay, all right. So we got those guys there. Um, on the front, this is the beaver tail. This large panel here is a removable, reversible beaver tail. So we have those two on the side. If I pop one, pop two, it is statically supported by this G-hook. It's a acetyl G-hook. On the front, we have a sport kind of mode. So this is similar to the IBEX 30 mm -hmm. with the addition of the duck foot. So this is like a little drawbridge made out of hype line to stop whatever you're gonna put in there. Right. On the front, we can see clearly these are Duraflex Elastolox. So they're one hand cam in combination with these adjustable tool loops that okay. can go all the way up to the size to support a ski. So you can have a pair of skis on here, obviously an ax, a shovel, a hatchet, any trail right, tools you need. Right, right, right. This is included hardware. It fits on vertical one inch, so you can use it here. You can use it on the inside of the bag, which I'll show you in a second. And you can use it on this side of the beaver tail, which would be up here. So. Gotcha. You can use it here, as well as this opposite side. This is the tactical side. So being reversible, you can flip this over, put it on the outside. Also, it has a map pocket, pretty generously sized, perfectly sized for the small sappy plate. Oh, right nice. in there. With an own little internal frame, so even if you put a plate in there, it wouldn't be rubbing the corners up gotcha. against you. You wouldn't gotcha. feel it. But gotcha. the coolest thing is tinkering with everything, and that's what we do as designers. Yeah. I'm just screwing with this thing uh, early on, and I realized if I did this and then incorporated this guy into some tabs we added later, we could make a stock pocket. And this stock pocket will, su will support your rifle, your bow, and this is part of the durable arms management system. So, beaver tail, beaver dam. Dude, way too on the nose, we had to do it. So, you got the stock pocket coming up here, and you have a seven positions to put your one inch retention straps, which are included with the contrasting orange release because it's right there in the mail. Perfect. It just makes it safer, makes it quicker, easier. The other way to do it is to pop these guys. We'll go back to the other bag now. And if you want to cover an optic and the action of the rifle, you can still use those retention straps and throw it up like that. Okay, okay, yeah. Right. So there's a couple the of options. Stock exposed, but yeah. you're protecting other parts of the gun. A couple of options for you. Um, I'll just do the top one here. But something that we've changed up a little bit is 500 denier Cordura and 1,000 denier only on the bottom panel. Okay. So that's that's the part that typically gets the most amount of wear, and that would be right there. So if this is 1,000D, the bottom of the water bottle pocket 1,000D, the rest is 500. 
Gotcha. And of course, you have your standard, you know, sleeping bag, uh, ground tent, anything like that, right. attachments. All right. But it's all the little things that make up a Vanquist bag. You know, when we did this, this rifle carrier or uh, arm support, the thing is, there's a zipper pocket here we didn't cover yet. But if you just have exposed zipper, this is right where safety controls and often operating rods are on rifles. So mm -hmm. if we didn't put this flap of Cordura, that would be the weakest part and the first thing to fail. Gotcha. So we always think forward about that kind of stuff. Very good, very good, very thorough. Yeah, so this bag, 45 liters, um, again, six pounds empty, comfortable target weight, about 38 pounds. Okay. Um, you can go longer and you can definitely go heavier. It's up to you. If you properly adjust it to your height, and you're wearing the bag like you should, with good weight management internally, you won't even feel it. Gotcha. It's been in product development and testing for two solid years, and has everything you need. I mean, the compression straps on the side, top, lower, laser cut, Molly Hypalon Air, Molly Air for uh, you know expansion, dedicated one liter pockets with user replaceable shock cords. So if this gets damaged or lost, you just yep. put another piece of shock cord through there. It's, it's pretty easy. When you're not using these guys, if you take the beaver tail off, you save half a pound in weight. And you can tuck this away, right into this little pocket on the side. So now it's not dangling and getting caught. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way in there. But yeah, just a pretty modular system. So great hiking pack, scout pack, yeah. search and rescue, trail maintenance. And again, this guy will be available in May. May, all right. And we're looking at a 270 retail, available in black. Wolf Gray and Coyote Tan. And Coyote Tan. Okay, yep. that was the other question. I Absolutely. Asked. Good. Uh, looks good, man. Really appreciate the walkthrough and all oh, yeah. the details. Absolutely. And again, as always, I'm always impressed with the stuff you guys oh, do. Oh, yeah. And like Thank I you. said, and like you said, this is thorough. Oh, well yes. thought out. Meticulous, but not overly complex. You know, yeah, there's yeah. even more stuff. We don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, all right, man. we are at Van Quest at Shot Show 2018. Thanks for watching.